First, though, tonight, the community continues to mourn a Jupiter father who died Sunday after an electrocution at the Harborside Place Fountain in Jupiter. Three children are also still recovering from that tragic incident tonight. WPTV News Channel 5 Stephanie Suskind takes a closer look at what may have gone wrong. There are so many unanswered questions about what happened out here at Harborside Place on Sunday, how someone could have been electrocuted in a fountain, and ultimately, who could be held responsible. Crime scene tape surrounded the Harborside splash pad and fountain area after a parent's worst nightmare. Emergency responders say witnesses reported a child in the fountain in distress. Five people were taken to the hospital, including three children. One man died after an electric shock. As for the fountain, the town of Jupiter says its building department only performs inspections when permits are pulled for construction or modification. While the investigation is underway, I spoke with personal injury lawyer Spencer Coven. He does not represent anyone involved in this incident. He does say while the fountain did have no climbing and no swimming signs, that may not be enough. Regardless of signs, this was an attractive nuisance to little children who aren't prevented. And, uh, and the law doesn't hold the child, the small child, responsible to read, to comprehend, to understand what these signs are saying. We reached out to Harborside regarding the signs. A spokesperson could only tell us, quote, we are heartbroken over this tragic and unexpected loss and continue to mourn with the rest of the Jupiter community. We did reach out to the victim's family today, and they are requesting privacy at this time. In Jupiter, Stephanie Suskind, WPTV News Channel 5.